Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Emily, and today, as you guys can see, I am by myself. Daily makeup. I don't do my makeup every day. Literally, like I do it once a week, maybe, and that's maybe. But I'm gonna do like what I do, like the fastest look that I that I do, like about my pregnancy and um, how I found out that I was pregnant and all that good stuff so um i don't think i've ever talked about that so i'm gonna talk about that <sighs> not really too much into detail just like something okay oh and if you guys saw my live bro this mirror i got so freaking sad because i dropped it and look <gasps> look dude it's like already dead oh no <laughs> But I'm gonna put super glue dude because this mirror is my everything since high school. I think like my freshman year I've had this mirror, so this is my baby right here. But okay, so how I found out I was pregnant. Um I well my older well it's cause um what the hell? So it was like around November, like late November. I was already like I was supposed to get my get my period November, like in the twenties. And I've always been like super on time. I never miss like not even a day, like not even half a day. Like I literally would get it in the mornings of that day that I was supposed to get it. And I don't remember because it's already been like two years I think yeah two years so I don't freaking remember the exact day. oops were hurting like really 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 extremely bad so um so I was like what the heck so I told my older sister like what was going on like I was like dude that's weird like I never like I know some girls like they get that symptom when they're about to start their monthly but like I would never so I was like that's weird but I honestly I didn't think that and then so I told my oldest I'm like dude that's weird like that has never like I have never experienced that you know and she was like she was like oh she's like well I mean like you can go get a test um, just to make sure you know because I was like partying and drinking and all that stuff so she was like just to make sure so I was like yeah you're right so um but I literally didn't think it was gonna be what it was like I was like I'm just gonna take a test just to make sure and then go back to partying it up you know so I texted Chris and I was like hey like I'm gonna go get a pregnancy test at a clinic um because here in El Paso they have like the teen centers and it's like free pregnancy test it's literally just a pee test it's nothing like no ultrasound nothing it's just you pee on a stick like how you would do at your home so um i went and then chris was like why like did you miss your period and i was like no but like this is going on and honestly what happened in october it didn't even cross my mind like i was just going based off that my boobs hurt really really extremely bad like to the point that I like when I was showering the water could not hit it hit them because I was in pain dude like they hurt really bad it wasn't just like sore like they hurt like they really really hurt so he was like oh, okay like you'll be fine just let me know like whatever they tell you and I was like yeah I'll let you know and then so I get there and the girl's like okay like what's going on so I told her and then she was like okay yeah like we could do one so um, we did it and then she was like okay in about five minutes or so like I'll call you to um, to check your test results she's like it takes like five minutes so I was like okay cool so I was like sitting in the um, in the lobby waiting for her to come back with my test results and this was before work because I would go into work at 10 in the morning and so I woke up I was ready by 8 to be at the clinic at 8 when they open so um, yeah so because I didn't want to be work late to work so she's like it's been like dude I freaking took the test right and we're both waiting in the lobby and it's been like I don't know it's been like two minutes she goes to the back she checks and then she calls me she's like oh like um come here like let's come let's talk in the back 
and I was like, what the fuck? So I went because, dude, when I tell you I didn't expect that shit, I did not expect that shit. So, um, yeah, so we went to the back and she's like, oh, so she's like, you're very pregnant. She's like, um, it hasn't been the... The, mi the minutes that it's supposed to be she's like um the line is very very dark she's like I, she's like i want to say you're about like five or six weeks and i was like what the fuck dude because i was drinking like every day dude like i was freaking like living my best life you know like me and chris were having so much fun like so much fun at this time so I was like, oh my god, I called Chris when I left the clinic and I was like, dude, we're fucked. <laughs> I was like, boy, like, no, we fucked up. So yeah, I was like telling him and crying and he was like, okay, like, it's okay, everything's gonna be okay. He's like, just calm down because I was really like, I was scared because I was scared like what I was gonna tell my parents. Even though I'm already 20, you know? Well, I'm 21 now, but at the time I was 20, but still, like, my parents are my everything. So I was like, fuck, like, what am I gonna tell my parents, you know? So then they scheduled me, um, I had a doctor's appointment two weeks later. So when I went to my doctor's appointment, I was already eight weeks, dude. Like, there was a whole ass baby, like, it was there she was there so then um yes yeah, so i remember me and chris um we walked into no well we walked into the uh, into the doctor's office um they did the ultrasound and then i remember like we heard her heartbeat and we were both like oh my gosh dude like what did we do like oh this is a whole ass human that like it's gonna depend on us you know like that we like yeah so we were just like oh my gosh like we were just in shock dude like there was literally like we were just like what in the world like this is crazy we didn't really talk about any other options other than keeping the baby like there was i mean we were in shock at first like of course dude we were like that was not our plan but like we never talked about oh like we shouldn't you know none of that stuff um, and my pregnancy was pretty good um i did break out a lot throughout my i think my first and second trimester it was like extremely bad like to the point that I didn't even want to go like outside I didn't want to go to the store nothing at all I was just really like um, how do you say that like um, oh insecure about my face and my skin because I broke out really really extremely bad um, it was a regular thing um, my my nausea or however you say it nausea whatever it wasn't honestly it was not it was honestly not bad um i would get nauseous but i would never throw up i don't know if it's because i wouldn't let myself i feel like i would just tell myself like i would feel nauseous and i would be like okay it's okay like breathe 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 don't throw up because i hate throwing up dude i cannot deal with throw up like not my own throw up not anyone's throw up i can't freaking put up with throw up dude like it's fucking gross like do not fucking throw up near me no like no don't tell me about throw up like i just can't i can't so i would just tell myself like you're okay dude breathe 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 like everything's gonna be okay you're okay because i know i look a little bit white right now but just wait um i couldn't eat that oh yeah that was was one of the things too I couldn't eat at all when I was pregnant, like my first trimester. A little bit of chapstick because I was looking a little bit dead. Just the, the first trimester, like that was probably like the worst, the worst part of it. But yeah, and then um, for my gender review, I, I'm like a very impatient person, which I know that's bad, but I am. Hi, like is this Emily or whatever? And I was like, yup, this is her. And then they were like, okay, like we have your results. Um, do you want to know or do you want us to call someone or is someone going to pick up an envelope here in the office? And I was like, um, no, just fucking tell me, bitch. I've been calling every single day. 
And then she was like, okay, you're gonna have a girl. And I was like, oh my god. <laughs> but bro, I already knew it. I was just being dramatic. So I was like crying. Um, I, oh, fuck. Oh. Um, I called Chris and I was like, do you want to know or do you want to wait till I surprise our parents? And he was like, no, just tell me. So I was like, okay, it's a girl. <laughs> and then he was like, oh my god, I knew it. And like, I was like, bro, I knew it. I told you. So then, um, so then, yeah, so then I got everything ready to surprise our parents. So, yeah, so I surprised my parents right when they got home from work. And then after that, I went to Chris's parents and surprised his parents. And yeah, I mean, everyone kind of knew it was going to be a girl. I don't know how the but we all knew so um i went to the hospital and um they told me like they were like oh um well first of all i have tested positive right for covid i went to the hospital for my baby you know like first of all i had already like i hadn't been coming out negative for covid but like i didn't have symptoms anymore or anything you know so and like no and so i went to the hospital and this doctor was like telling me shit telling me like oh um you know like you coming here you're putting other people at risk like you shouldn't come like and i was like i'm here for my baby like i'm worried about my baby i'm not gonna come for fun to sit here by myself at the hospital no i came because i'm worried about my baby and then he was like, yeah, but like now we have to shut down the whole hospital and then take you through like another another way and all these things. And I was like, okay, then do that. So then a woman comes out and she's like, um, hey, what's going on? And I was like, um, I was like, well, I'm here because I haven't felt my baby move since last night. And I, and then I was like telling her, and she was like, she was like, oh, okay. She's like, I'm so sorry. Like she's like. I know you're worried about your baby like we're gonna get you in <sighs> so yeah um so yeah so then they took me to my room um honestly they wouldn't really check on me but I know like I understand because of COVID I know. like they they put the um, things to hear her heartbeat and she was fine but but yeah but that okay that experience was horrible too I had forgotten that I went through all of that until right now that I'm kind of like venting about my birth since um since I still have a lot going on like the lights went out at our house um it was raining really bad and I told him I was like she's coming tonight and he was like no like no she's not I'm like dude she's coming I, f I could tell like I don't know you could just feel it you know like I don't know so I would walk like um since I started my second semester my second semester my second trimester I me and Chris would walk a mile every single night so every single night we would walk a mile until I had her so that night that I went into labor we were walking and it started like sprinkling and I was like oh shoot so we went inside oh and we had just came back from Walmart and from Peter Piper so we went to Walmart to buy a yoga ball because I was like, girl, I'm already 38 weeks, 6 days. Like, I was already going to be 39 weeks. So I was like, come on, you got to come out. So we bought a yoga ball and then we stopped at Peter Piper on our way back home. And so I, we were eating, the lights went out. We were eating in the car because it was too hot inside the house. It was raining. So we were eating inside of the car. And then I remember the lights came back on. So then we went to walk because I mean it was dark as shit outside there was no there was no light so um, yeah the lights came back on we went to do our night or night night walk or however and then we came back home well when we were walking I was like dude she's gonna come like I just know it I have a really strong feeling she's gonna come tonight and he was like no like no she's not and I was like she is so then we went inside and I started jumping on the ball but I jumped for like five minutes girl because I got tired dude like that was no joke and I was humongous like I was freaking huge so I jumped on the ball for like five minutes and then um yeah and then we went to sleep so then like at three in the morning I woke up 
because I had really strong um, contractions, but I had already ha been having contractions, but not like this. Like they, these were bad, and they were like three minutes apart already. So, but I didn't know, like you know, I didn't know anything. So I called the hospital, and I was like, oh, like I'm having contractions. I don't know what to do. Should I go in? Because you know, I had already gone a couple of times, and they sent me back home. So I didn't want to go all the way. 30 minutes to the hospital for them to send me back home so I and then wait there by myself no so I was like oh like I'm having I'm having them really bad and they're three minutes apart and she was like she was like okay she's like get in the bath she's like when you're in the bath when you come out like if they get worse you need to come now she's like but if the bath helps just um we'll just stay and I was like okay cool so then, um, yeah, so then I w got in the bath and I was in there for like 30 minutes and that helped, dude. Like, I didn't feel anything, but when I was, like, that was while I was in the bath. Like, when I was in the bath, no me dolía. Like, I was fine. But when I got out, <laughs> shit, dude, I was freaking horrible. Like, it was bad. I couldn't take it no more. So I went and woke up Chris and I was like, dude, it's time. Like, it's time now and I need to go because... <laughs> Like, she's coming. Like, it's time. But my water hadn't broken yet. But, like, they were really bad. And then, um, yeah, like, he was like, I mean, I could still walk and everything by myself, you know? Like, I could handle it, dude. Like, surprisingly, I'm very, like, I can't take pain at all. Like, my tolerance for pain is really, really, like, low. But I could take it, you know? So I didn't think, like, I knew she was coming, but I didn't think that fast. Yeah, he dropped me off. I went in and then um, I was like, oh, like I'm having really bad contractions. Like I think like oh, I'm having my baby. And they were like, okay, dude, they were still asking me all these questions. Like, is this still your address? I'm like, did you not just hear me, girl? Like, get me up there and give me my medication. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, I was like, I'm having a baby in your lobby. Can you take me to the room, please? Oh, yeah. So then they sit me down. They're like, okay, labor and delivery is going to come for you. I was like, in how long, bro? Like, fuck. So then, like, they didn't take long. Like, in five minutes, they came for me in a wheelchair, and they took, they brought me up to the labor and deliveries in a room, like, with five different girls, but, like, there was curtains. And I could hear all of them, like, screaming, like, crying, and I was like, oh, shit. Like, I was like, hell no, if it gets worse than this, like, I was like, I don't want to do it. A nurse came to check me and when I got to the hospital I was four centimeters and um, she was like okay I'll come back in an hour to see if you if you're if you're like still dilating uh, oh yeah so then an hour passes by it's six in the morning now and um, she checks me and I'm five centimeters so she's like okay like you have to be admitted now I'm gonna take you to the room like tell your husband he can come inside now and I was like oh my gosh I was so then she took me to the room and then yeah like um, I got to the room and they were like asking me questions like they were like okay are you gonna want an epidural or however the fuck and I was like I'm um, not right now like right now I could still handle the pain you know like I got this girl I got this I'll let you know <gasps> um, Chris was able to come in so he was in there with me and then um, I fell asleep. Well, actually they gave me a medication. I don't remember what it was called, but it made me feel like super weird. Like I did not like it at all. So when Chris came in, I was like, dude, I don't feel okay. Like they gave me this medication and I don't, I feel weird, like so weird. And he was like, okay, he's like, it's okay. And then um, I fell asleep and then they came in an hour later and I was six centimeters I was six or six and a half I don't remember and they were like okay do you want the epidural now and I was like yeah like just give it to me I wasn't in that much pain like I could still handle it but I was scared like to keep going and then for them to be like oh you can't get it no more you know because I honestly don't remember how many centimeters and then you can't get it no more so I was like yeah just give it to me so then um they put it on me and then um, and then we fell asleep me and Chris were asleep like the whole like time and then like at 10 30 they came into my room 
and they were like okay like your water broke it's time to push and I was like what like dude I like you know it was just crazy they came in they told me it was time to push and I had her at 10 44 in the morning so yeah it was pretty it was like pretty great it was fast it was really really fast I pushed like maybe like because they came into the room like at 10 30 they still had to do a couple of things and then I started pushing but I remember I pushed maybe like three or four times and then I had her so it was pretty it was pretty fast and easy but I think what helped was that I would walk every single night yeah and then we had our little our little baby our little crying baby the nurse that was there like through it all like that was like walking me through when I was getting the when I was getting the epidural and well she was there through everything actually she was amazing dude like she reminded me a lot of my mom like I don't know I guess she knew like I guess she could tell how scared I was because when they were gonna put the epidural I was shaking so bad the bed was shaking with me like and like I was like can he please hug me like can he hold me and she was like no I'm sorry like she's like it's because there's been um, partners that like pass out because of the needle so she's like no but I'll hold you and like you'll be okay like, you know doing the thing she was like come on you can do it like you're almost there and all she was great dude she was so awesome I hope she's my nurse all the time that I give birth cuz girl I wish I would have asked for her name my dumbass forgot that was the last thing on my mind Say hi. Okay, and then I ended up putting my hair up just like in a como se dice? a half ponytail. And yeah. So yeah, so this is the final look. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys on our next video. Peace out.